Scorpio, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Guys, thank you so much for finding my channel and all the support you constantly give to my channel. God bless you for all the views you've been bringing in. Uh, remember, guys, this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising, and it's an energy reading. So please take everything that I describe and Place it where it resonates in your life. This is your reading. Um, this is my first of two readings for you. The second, there'll be a link attached below. It's an extended reading, and I hope that you'll join me for it. Um, my name is Michelle. For those of you who are just finding my channel, welcome to my tarot table. I'm going to go over the astrology, and then we're going to go into present, what's going on and unravel it. Something's come out for the past, and I know that if something's coming out for the past, it is what is impacting what is going on right now and then we'll go into predictive um and i have a second youtube channel called astrology motivation i will attach the link above where i go live daily monday through friday so you can live chat with me and enjoy a general tarot card reading and i hope you enjoy well i hope you get to find me over there too and enjoy that as well um this is a real powerful week for you i'm just gonna i'm gonna blurt it out the astrology, the midheaven, where it is right now, so say if somebody was born right now, is conjunct to Pluto. This is a very powerful personality. Now, so that doesn't make your midheaven in your chart. Midheaven is basically your public life. What are you, you dedicated to in terms of building out? It's almost like it's, it's, the, it's the cusp of the 10th house. So think 10th house. What do you build out into your career, the world? What do you add to this world? Um, and what do, you, what do you do very publicly? And what is your passion to create into this world? So the midheaven, uh, Pluto being conjunct the midheaven currently, um, is really, really gives you this sort of, because Pluto is your ruling dignitary, this very... Um, <laughs> Um, uh, that's yeah, I can say it's a very powerful energy, very, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to be driven. People will see you as an authority figure this week. They will see you as somebody who has a great deal of presence. They won't want to mess with you. There is a lot of energy that will enable you to move forward, especially when it comes to your career. Be very determined. Basically, you're going to be a force of nature, especially when it comes to your career. And people may kind of shrink back from you because as soon as you enter the room, it's like this motherfucker's taking over. So that's the kind of energy that you'll be putting out this week. It just depends on where all this is happening. It's happening in Capricorn. And so check your natal chart to see what part of your life uh, is in Capricorn, what, what house of yours is in Capricorn. Um, now, Mars, which is your uh, traditional ruling dignitary, is also in a very powerful position. Saturn is still trying to Mars, but this is, this is the big thing. Mars is opposite the sun. The sun is in Sagittarius. Mars is in retrograde in Gemini. So a Mars sun opposition is also very strong, very powerful, physically just going after something, chasing after it, determination, really, really like relentless energy. The fact that Pluto is also conjunct the midheaven now is also ruthless, relentless, powerful. I'm taking over. I'm dominating. Who the fucking boss at? That who, who the fucking boss? I'm here. Where they at? It's right here. Like that's the kind of energy. And then to have that energy with between the sun and Mars too, which are inner planets, which means this is a delivery system here. This is where it's coming out. This is going physically. You will be very energized and charged to do something to take action and make progress mars is in retrograde though so what does that mean especially you will be inspired by things that you have not done or haven't gotten a chance to do or felt like you looked over or you will be forced to confront those things that you didn't get a chance to do conversation paperwork or lessons left unlearned that you will have the energy supercharged to be like i'm gonna get at this i'm gonna get after it i'm gonna just start working at it and doing it because boss in charge like that's it's just a great time i gotta say it's a great energy to advance your career under um, if, if you have been looking for new work or you have been looking to make progress in whatever your business is, especially if you own your business and you're building it out, like, like wonderful time, 
wonderful week for you to just take that energy and really use it to uh, build yourself out, build yourself up and do what you got to do. Let's get into the cards. I already have them sitting here in front of me. We have, you see clearly now. Damn, what do you see clearly now? This is usually about seeing the truth. Aquarian energy could also be seeing the way. You know, it, it becoming very, very clear now. Like, no, no, and with this energy, I gotta say, astrologically, yeah, there's, it, there's not, you're not gonna let stuff get in your way. You, you're not gonna, you're gonna see, especially with Mars in retrograde, where you have before let little peddly shit, piddly shit, get into the way, get in your way. And that's just not gonna happen anymore. We will go deeper into what this truth is, but you see clearly now means even in the dark, you can point out you have a sense of wisdom now and a lack of fear. So there's courage here. Um, this is also perhaps a truth coming out. We gotta get into this. This and that are true, seeing both sides. So maybe your path is being able to see both sides of a situation and not being, not like, like maybe you're in the middle, let me let's say this way, maybe you're in the middle of negotiations this week. This sense of seeing how working through both sides or maybe in some ways playing both sides is actually a really good thing to do. I think it's a bit risky, but you will also be prone to take risks this week. Use your mind wisely. So this is almost like negotiations. This is almost like putting you at the center of negotiations and you being the one that figure out fig can figure out what's the path for both people. It's almost like in your life this week, you will be able to figure out the third path. You know, we always get stuck between two roads, but you're gonna see alternate roads you're gonna see you're gonna realize that you do have different choices and you are not just stuck with whatever has been given to you so this is an extremely entrepreneurial progressive trailblazing especially with the sun in Sagittarius it's almost like you see different options you see that even even examples like being able to take in and, and see the correct information and say, oh, look at this, see, this is somebody doing it completely differently and how successful it is, let's try that. So use your mind wisely is when pigs fly, this and that are true. This is actually being able to see the side of something that you thought you'd never see, before, that you thought you'd never see. Like being able to see a side, uh, uh, like, like somebody's point of view or perspective that you thought you'd never get a chance to see. Um, which kind of proves to you something. It's almost like, I'll see it when I believe it. Yeah, of course you've heard that expression. I'll see it when I believe it, and then you see it. Like this is the week that you see it to believe it, and you get proven that something is true. And there's a huge realization that speaks to, okay, I'm seeing it just, I'm seeing this at just the right time to enable myself to make progress. But we have something that came up in the past. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race is about this came about slowly. It took a long time for you to get here. And it is very much water energy. So there's a sense of emotionally, somebody took a while to get there. Somebody took a while to get comfortable with this situation. And maybe in some ways, this is the first time you're going to be able to be comfortable with a situation because you really needed to see it play out. And in some ways, it almost looks like there's a huge surprise where it's like, okay, all right, never thought I'd see that, but let me use this to my advantage. The good part about the astrology this week is that it speaks to you being able to have authority over who you are and your level of determination and energy will be such that it doesn't you don't get caught up in that petty crap and even if it is disappointing information you'll find a way to use it you'll find a way to make it work for you because there's nothing that you're not you're going to find a way to make everything work this week which is a really wonderful lesson i have to say it's almost like yeah yeah, that's, that's how we make things work, is we don't prejudge them. 
this you know we, we don't prejudge the situation we 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 just take what's in front of us and do what we can with what we have now this could be some slow healing or news about your health or about um a circumstance let's put it this way that was very close to your heart that there is now finally a breakthrough in now we finally have okay now you finally have answers <laughs> okay so what are these answers there's two full moons here, so it could be two full moons out into the future. Uh, emotions are running high, so this is a particularly sensitive topic, and people have been very pop-offish about it. Maybe you have been very pop-offish about it. This, this meant a lot to you, or people are very sensitive about this situation, and then surrender to the divine. Emotions are running high, surrender to, it's almost like, realizing and seeing very clearly there's not much that i wait there's everything that i can do so what does that mean your hard work is paying off this is beautiful energy and i feel like this is more like time a time frame um within two months but i'm thinking no because a lot of times the moon has to do with the past that's what water rules the past so this is a sense of two full moons ago and you might be looking toward the full moon we experienced that really lovely new moon a week ago. So think about a week out, the next two moons. This could be a time frame as to when everything, it's just like have faith when everything actually works out or everything is actually, you actually gets to be executed. Um, so maybe plan on that. And that's why take things slow because even though you see something extremely clear now, it's still gonna take time to execute especially when it comes to people's emotions and emotional reaction to it it's almost like they're going to they're going to take some time to like settle into it and accept it if not accept it get a little bit comfortable with it and then we have a bit of a future card coming out here in the future position your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn new moon in capricorn comes on i believe december 23rd or december 24th it's a very very merry christmas moon there's so much energy in capricorn when all this happens and remember um remember that right now we're talking about pluto pluto is in capricorn the midheaven is now in capricorn it will not be in the future when the new moon is there pluto will still be though so it's almost like we're gearing up you're working your ass off to do something that you will be able to plant the seed in, that you will be prepared for and you'll be happy you got all the work done when it comes to this new moon in Capricorn on December 24th, it will be a very, very, very Merry Christmas for you, my friends. So let's get into the details. What does Scorpio see clearly now? So who stabbed you in the back? Bam! It happened right out. <laughs> Boom! The people who were not for you. The people who were definitely against you. The people who had... Um, and let's say this let's say this sometimes you guys are not wrong you guys are not right i know there's a sensitivity with scorpios it's a beautiful sensitivity if their mind is clear but some scorpios could feel like they're getting stabbed in the back by everybody no no no, no my friends this 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 clarifying this week you can actually take you actually have the authority and command over your energy to be able to see very precisely in sagittarius season what is going on that means it's happening currently it also means who stabbed me in the back who hurt me now this could be a score a sagittarius that did it or just a sense of how to fix because this is usually major arcana right this is this is always major arcana so let's talk about it in the like in the more esoteric sense this sense of being able to make peace with, being able to comprehend and understand and not let it impact you or hurt you anymore. Whoever hurt you or whatever this pain and suffering is that you've been going through, this could be physical as well because we do have Mars in retrograde um, opposite the sun. So it could have been physical pain or words. Think about the swords. Also, Mars is in Gemini right now. Words that people have said, little things, little backstabs that's been 
been said over time, all of a sudden coming out. I said, I asked the cards, you heard me. You see, what do I see clearly now? You see clearly now where the stabs came from. You see clearly now where the shit words came from. You see clearly now maybe where the bad advice was coming from. You see clearly now what was causing the pain and suffering. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing that this card came out because what it's saying is you will heal. You will now figure out maybe a doctor, maybe a nurse, maybe a healer of some sort is going to be able to help you through this situation and come in and figure out what to do with it. Even if it is a disadvantage, they will be able to spin it so that it is an advantage. That is, it's, it's almost like magic because that's what temperance is. It's finding things that don't make sense. And if you think about it, that's this card here. Two things, this and that are true. So it's almost like some spin doctoring shit going on. It, maybe it's you, maybe it's somebody else, but it's almost like um, maybe you see clearly and see right through the crap that you see people are trying to spin things in a different way. But it's also something I think that's going to be available to you. So especially if it's about your health or if it's about something personal in your life, there's a sense of, okay, I've just seen what's causing the pain. I now understand what's causing the pain. Now, how do I, what do I do about this? Those answers will be yours. Let's get deeper into this. Who does this involve? The Emperor is here. And then we have the Page of Swords, which is Mars and Gemini. So the Emperor is Aries energy, right? Um, so let's talk about it. Either you have an Aries that's going to be reaching out and talking to you or finally saying something to you or confronting something, or there are words that you're going to say to them. And this is the time to take authority and to say what you need to say. This could also be when you are up before somebody who is an authority figure and you'll be confronting them and combating them. Not necessarily combating them, but you, well, maybe, maybe you'll, you'll be prepared. You're definitely speaking or having words. It's also saying, take action, say what you need to say, speak to somebody. And even if you have to question somebody's authority, give a second opinion. This is very, very much soldier energy. So this is, this is supercharged and I'm ready to fight, but I'm fighting with intellect. I'm fighting with words. I'm fighting with diplomacy, but I am fighting. This could be even taking legal action against somebody or seeing who has taken legal action against you. Damn. Now this could also be taking legal action because I want to build something, right? Getting a corporation officialized, um, getting a patent officialized, um, starting up a company legally, registering an LLC. It could be that too, taking action and, and making sure that you shore up what you what you need to affirm your business so that your hard work actually pays off and you can plant this new seed especially in this capricorn energy i'm telling you this is really about you being the boss and not letting anyone else get one over on you so who is the primary player here we have the sun so it could even be speaking to a parental figure or having people speak to you as a parental figure. The sun card is here, so this could be speaking to a Leo or taking action on speaking to um, somebody who is a leader or taking a leadership position, uh, taking authority on a position. Um, this could be a Leo, but it's also saying success, like the sun, this is, it's almost like, Okay, let me go back. Midheaven, you have to know, is very, very public. So it could be that people are getting clear on what you've done and all the transactions you've made. So there is something that you should be aware of all this week. Whatever you do is going to be very public and you are not going to hide it. Now, you are going to be able to hide it. Things will be brought to light. The sun is here saying that this is victory and triumph because it's like your authority is being brought to light. But understand, remember because Mars is in opposition to the sun, understand that it will, even though it's going to be good, it is going to be public. People are going to see you and recognize you. That's what the sun showing up here means. We've got another card on the table, two of pentacles, 
This is some sort of financial negotiations. What are you negotiating financially? Um, you know, please leave the comments below. I mean, you know, I want to know I'm nosy, but <laughs> I mean, it's some sort of financial negotiations. But the sun card here is saying that this is this is when you can take action or when you'll have the strength or lack of fear or you're just going to go for it. You know, you're going to go for it, especially if you found out somebody was trying to fuck with you or maybe for the first time in a long time you feel healthy enough to do it or you were inspired because now you see who delivered the knives to your back and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get at this now. Whatever inspires you, you are inspired and you do possess that authority this week. So just go for it and don't be afraid to be seen, Scorpio, because this is the time when you want to be. A lot of times you don't want to be. You know, you'd rather work things from the background right but no this time around you're like i did this this is my work and you're going to notice me and people are going to notice you i will show you the card that proves that but please click the link below we're going to go to the extended now i will see you guys there